Dear friends, on the very first day of the new year, we remember Mary, the mother of God, and our mother. We dedicate our lives to her as we imitate her virtues of humility, obedience, and total surrender to God. Even though she did not understand fully the meaning of her call, she had enough faith to surrender herself to God's plan. As she knew and believed that God would be faithful to His promises. It is when we surrender to God's plan and will for us, and when we trust in God's promises, that our lives become meaningful and joyful, and all of our fears, anxieties, and worries will vanish. So let us pray that like Mary, we may totally trust and surrender to God in our lives. My dear parishioners, sisters and brothers in Christ Jesus, this first Eucharist in the dawn of the new year 2021 is offered for all your intentions of your families. And we also offer this Eucharist for the intentions of our country and of all the whole world. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. As we begin the new year, the Holy Mother Church has given us a precious gift that is Mary, the Mother of God, and our own mother. Let us pray at this Eucharistic celebration that 
May we, may industry for all of us in this uh, starting of the new year, as she surrendered her life in the hands of the Lord, as she believed in the power of God, as she believed uh, and trusted her whole self in God, let us also surrender and believe in God's power in our lives. To celebrate this, the sacred mystery of God's love, let us call to mind our sins and ask for God's pardon and forgiveness. Together we say, I confess to Almighty God and to my brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most greatest fault. Therefore I ask the Society of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to know our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen.
Let us pray. O oh God, who through the fruitful virginity of Blessed Mary bestowed on the human race the grace of eternal salvation, God, we pray that we may experience the intercession of her through whom we were found worthy to, to receive the author of life. Our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. First reading, a reading from the book of Numbers. The Lord spoke to Moses and said, Say this to Ali and his sons. This is how you are to bless the sons of Israel. You shall say to them, May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord let his face shine on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord uncover his face to you and bring you peace. This is how they, sh they are to call down my name on the sons of Israel and I will bless them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response shall be, O oh God, be gracious and bless us. Can we repeat? O oh God, oh God, be gracious and bless us. God, be gracious and bless us. Let your face shed its light upon us. So will your ways be known upon earth. And all nations learn your saving help. Our response, O oh God, be gracious and bless us. Let the nations be glad and exult. For you rule the world with justice. With fairness you rule the peoples. You guide the nations on earth. Our response, O oh God, be gracious and bless us. Let the people praise you, O oh God. Let all the peoples praise you. May God still give us his blessings till the ends of the earth revere him. Our response, O oh God, be gracious and bless us. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. When the appointed time came, God sent his son, born of a woman, born a subject of the law, to redeem the subjects of the law and to enable us to be adopted as sons. The proof that you are son in that God has sent the spirit of his son into our hearts. The spirit that cries, Abba Father, and it is this that makes you a son. You are not a slave anymore. And if God has made you son, then he has made you here. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Can you arise for the gospel?
द शेपर्स हरी डे टू बेथलहम एंड फाउंड मेरी एंड जोजफ एंड द बेबी लाइव इन द मेजर वेन दे सॉ द चाइल्ड दे रिपीटेड वॉट दे हैड बीन टोल्ड अबाउट हिम एंड एवरी वन हु हर्ड इट वॉज एस्टॉनिस्ड at what the shepherds had to say as for mary she treasured all these things and pondered them in her heart and the shepherds went back glorifying and praising god for all they had heard and seen it was exactly as they had been told when the eighth day came and the child was to be circumcised they gave him the name jesus the name the angel had given him before his conception the gospel of the lord praise my dear parishnis sisters and brothers who are viewing this virtual holy mass of the new year on this night first of all i wish all of you and all your dear and dear ones a very happy and prosperous new year 2021 every year we experience the new day in the new year and uh, somehow we are all very happy in our lives and we are very happy in our minds and hearts when we think of this new year which is going to come today is the first day of the new year everyone feels very happy everyone has a lot of expectations of the new year they have uh, anticipations they have hopes dreams how this new year is going to be in my life and to my family and uh, on this new year all of us uh, we take resolutions that i am going to be like this in this new year because in the past the last year my life was like this but i am going to improve i am going to change for the better in my life in this new year and i wish my dear parishnis children youth and all the married couples that all your dreams and hopes or all your expectations may come true by the grace of god as you are participating in this virtual holy eucharist of the new year 2021 today we celebrate the solemnity what is the meaning of solemnity the greatest feast of mary the holy mother of god why on the first day of the new year the church is taking a feast the church celebrates uh, mary as the mother of god there is a reason behind this feast my dear brothers and sisters why we celebrate on the first day mary in our human life always gave first place to god mary in our life gave herself totally to god she believed in god and she hoped in god 
and she trusted God in completely. Which means the church is asking us today, or the church is inviting all of us today, like Mother Munir Rehim, we are all Christians, we are all the disciples of our Lord Jesus Christ, the children of God. We need to believe in God. We need to trust God. We need to have hopes in the Lord and we need to surrender our entire life in the hands of God and we need to begin the new year without surrendering ourselves in the hands of the Lord, without believing in God, without placing all our hopes and dreams in God, we cannot move ahead with our life, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. The church today is giving us Mary and uh, all of us that we are in the care of Mary, the maternal care of Mother Mary in the first day of the new year. Mary is honored with many titles in our life, many titles, Queen of Peace and Cause of Joy, Spiritual Vessel, Vessel of Honor, Singular Vessel of Devotion, Spiritual Mystical Rose, Tower of David, we are the Litany of Our Lady. Of all the titles that Mary has in her life, the greatest and the prominent, the fundamental title is Mary, the most holy mother of God. Mary, a simple woman, not even woman, a girl of 12 years old, from an obscure village, God chose her to be the mother of God, the mother of His Son, Jesus Christ. Why Mary was to be chosen by God? Because Mary had the complete surrender. Mary had the complete, total self-giving herself to God. Yes, God knows this little girl gives a total self to me. She was not selfish and she was not self-dependent, but she was dependent on God. In today's gospel we see the Mary is presented as uh, she kept everything in her heart and she was pondering over all that have happened in our life. The shepherds, when they heard the good news from the angel, that a Savior is born for you. He's the Messiah. He's the Jesus. And when they heard the good news, the shepherds they went to the place where Jesus was laid in a manger and Joseph and Mary, they were there. And they went and saw exactly as the angels told them. Everything was as it was told to them. And when they saw Jesus with Mary and Joseph, they were greatly astonished and they were joyful. They were rejoicing. And today's gospel is written, they were glorifying and praising God in their lives for what they had seen. And my dear, Brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, when they had seen this scene in that manger, without uh, knowing, without uh, being told, they came to know this child is the Son of God. He is the Messiah, he is the Savior who has been sent by the Father to save the world from the slavery of sin. So that means they were the first messengers to give this good news to all the world that the Son of God has been born. The Messiah has been born. And out of which, Mary who was sitting there, she also came to realize, she also came to know that what God told me has been fulfilled. 
that I had to become the mother of the Son of God. Which means it is a great risk on the part of Mary. Being a virgin, how she could conceive a baby. So it was a call from God for Mary to ponder, to reflect, to accept uh, this uh, challenge. This great task of carrying Jesus, the Son of God, in the womb without uh, the help of you know, her husband Joseph. But Mary knew very well in her life, it was the will of God, it was the plan of God that I had to be the part of the salvific mission of God. So I'm not worried about the world. Even if the world would uh, put me to disgrace, even if the world uh, would scold me, I have nothing to worry because I'm here to do God's work. She was ready to accept anything for the sake of God, for the sake of God's plan of salvation. This woman, this girl was courageous. And uh, she went on to give birth to the child. Like the brothers and sisters in Christ, Jesus Pope Francis tells about Mary. She was not a woman of great speeches. She was not a woman of great kind of deeds or kind of a great uh, kind of a scholar or somebody who is uh, high in status. No, she was a lowly and maid, but capable of perceiving God's will. In our life. A symbol only handmade, but yet she had the power of God. She fulfilled God's work in our life, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. Very important on the first day of the new year that the church is telling us that we need to surrender. Our lives in the hands of the Lord. In the first reading, we have seen it's a reading of blessing. God told Moses to tell Aaron, through Aaron, the blessings will come upon the people of Israel. God is ready to bless all of you. He's going to shower his blessings on all of you. Today, you all are gathered here to come or you are participating in this Holy Eucharist on the first day of the new year because you want God's blessings on you, on your family. Whether you like it or not, even sometimes, even you may not have uh, that strong faith, but yet you know, within you, in the depth of your heart, your, in your inner self, that you have the urge for God's blessings. That you want God's blessings. I want God to bless me. And my dear brothers and sisters, I want to tell you one quality of Mary's life that we need to cultivate in today's world. Mary kept everything in her heart and she was pondering over them, pondering, reflecting, praying and discerning. We are living in a world of noise, anxiety, worries, stress, pains, sufferings, difficulties and we are confused and our life is uh, complicated. So in this uh, world of uh, confusion, anxiety, stress, we need to take time off and we need to be by ourselves and we need to ponder. We need to reflect on our life. We need to sit quietly and we need to 
look at ourselves and we need to pray to God. When we are sleep quietly and when we are reflecting on our life, we can listen to God's voice in our lives. Many people they say, Father, how can we know the will of God in our lives? How can we know that God is talking to us? Yes, God will talk to you if you are giving God time, when you are taking your own time off and when you are sitting quietly and when you are listening to God, He will talk to you. He will reveal to you His word. And as we are in this uh, first day of the new year, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, that we need to bring all our duties, all our dreams that we have, all our projects that we have, all our programs that we have in our personal lives and in our families unto the Lord. St. Paul says, with God, I can do everything. His grace is sufficient for me. I don't want anything in this world. God's foolishness is greater than the knowledge or the wisdom of this world. With God, I can do everything. I now no longer live Christ who lives in me. I am for the Lord. I need the Lord in my life. And as Mary also, when the angel told her, nothing is impossible with God, Mary said, Behold the handmaid of the Lord. She never believed in anyone in this world except God. She knew God who created me would do all that is good for me. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, I just want to stress one theme, one point on the first day of this new year that you believe the God who created you will do good things for you. So, trust Him. Place your family in the hands of the Lord. Anything that you start doing, do. Pray to God. He will always bless you. He will always guide you. The God who led the people of Israel from the slavery of Egypt to the promised land, Canaan, and they crossed the Red Sea. Who led them crossing the Red Sea? It was God. So, in your life, are you having problems? Are you having difficulties? Are you going astray? Or your life is fully confused with a lot of complications? Do not be worried. Do not be afraid. Stand still. Sit quietly. Talk to God. And He will take control of your life and He will bless you and He will need you. Amen. Kindly stand and profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered and was was crucified, died and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. Dear sisters and brothers, on this New Year's Day, let us pray to God our Father for His abundant blessings on us and our families.
a response, lo, be gracious and bless us. Together, Lord, be gracious and bless us. We pray for our Holy Mother Church and all our pastors that she may embrace and lead all the children of God in the way of peace, harmony and joy. We pray to the Lord, your response, Lord, be gracious and bless us. We pray for all mothers who make sacrifices in giving birth and nurturing their children, that they may learn from Mary, the mother of God, to be patient and humble, so that like her, they may be rewarded abundantly. We pray to the Lord your response. Lord, be gracious and bless us. We pray for all of us and our dear and dear ones, that in this new year, God may bless us and all our works, so that we may experience success and prosperity. We pray to the Lord your response. Lord, be gracious and bless us. We pray for the women and men specially consecrated to God in religious life that they may learn to accept God's word and ponder them in their hearts so that they may experience the fullness of joy in their life. We pray to the Lord your response. Lord, be gracious and bless us. We pray for those who suffer on account of poverty, sickness and rejection by others that Jesus, the Son of God and Son of Mary, may cure them from their sickness and rejection. And bless them, we pray to the Lord your response. Lord, be gracious and bless us. Let us pray for our own needs. As we celebrate the solemnity of Mary, the Mother of God, God has never let us off it. He has given us His Mother as our Mother and she always uh, accompanies us on our journey of life throughout this new year. She is always interceding, praying for us, to her son, Jesus. She will always take us to Jesus, her son, and she will lead us unto him. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Thanks to your goodness, this bread we offer, fruit of the earth, work of our hands, it will become the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Blessed be God.
Pray with the brothers and sisters that by sacrifice and yours may be accepted to God the Almighty Father. And may the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for the good of all the city church. O oh God, who oh in your kindness begin all good things and bring them to fulfillment, grant to us to find joy in the solemnity of the Holy Mother of God, that just as we glory in the beginnings of your grace, so one day we may rejoice in its completion through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant our peace to God, unite and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant, Francis our Pope, and Oswald, gracious Archbishop, and all those who holding to the truth, 
and on the Catholic and Apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants, our brothers and sisters, and all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them, we offer you the sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them for the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being and being their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those who, whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious above Virgin Mary, whose feast we celebrate today, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs Peter and Paul and Andrew, and all your saints, we ask that through their merits and praise in all things we may defend it by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, order our taste in your peace, and come on that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O oh God, we pray to bless acknowledge and approve of this offering in every respect, make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to offer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands and with eyes raised to heaven to you, O God, his Almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take the soul of you and eat of it, for this is my body. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take the soul of you and drink from for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, all by your cross and resurrection, you We celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord. We, your servants, and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty 
from the gifts that you have given us. This pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as one you were pleased to accept the gift of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angels to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants are departed. Your servants who have gone before us with a sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into your, their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them and bestow them upon us. Through them and with them and in them, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, the city of Apostles, all your faithful people who are gathered here, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. May the sneaking of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. May the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, 
not bring me to judgment and condemnation, but through your loving mercy, be for me protection in mind and body and a healing remedy. Behold the love of God which showering his blessings on all of us on this new year. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who hold to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy to finish the death of my womb, but what is the word when my soul shall be in him? May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Spiritual Communion Prayer O oh Lord Jesus, since I cannot now receive you in your sacramental presence, I beg you to come spiritually into my soul to enrich me with your holy grace and make me truly your own forever. O oh Jesus, living in Mary, Come and live in me, in the spirit of your holiness, in the communion of your mysteries, in the perfection of your ways. O divine guest, give to my soul a strong, lively faith, an unbounded trust, perfect humility, and abiding sorrow for my sins, a total abandonment to your divine will, and a perfect loving union with your mind and heart. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. My dear parishioners, brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, on behalf of the Paris team, I wish all of you and all your family members and all your relatives, friends and well wishes a very joyful and prosperous Happy New Year 2021. May God bless you with his abundant blessings. Please convey our uh, wishes of God's blessings to all the sick family members in your home. That our prayers are always uh, for them so that God may bless them with the cure of their diseases and give them comfort and joy and peace of life. I pray and wish that this uh, new year 2021 may be a blessing year to all our families in our parish, that all your undertakings, assignments in your families and in your career, even children and youth in your studies may always uh, be blessed by God and we may do wonderfully well in the new year. Always pray to God, always be closer to God. We want to thank uh, the Jasmine Zone for conducting the New Year liturgy. May God bless uh, all of them. We also want to thank the sisters uh, of our parish who have uh, decorated the altar, the sacristan, even the 
others uh, who have been somewhere the other a great help for making this uh, Eucharist uh, a wonderful celebration. We also want to thank our Deacon Silverstock for being with us and always uh, praying us and always helping us in our liturgical celebrations and all our spiritual activities. May God bless him and his family. Announcement tomorrow is uh, Friday, 1st January 2021. We have uh, the New Year Masses in our church in the morning, 7 o'clock in Konkani, 8.15 in English, 9.30 a.m. in Tamil and then 45 a.m. in English. As I had already messaged to all of you, parishes come for this new Mass in the church and pray to God for the blessings. Can we stand for the final prayer? Let us pray. We have received this heavenly sacrament with joy, O Lord. Ground we pray that it may lead us to eternal life. For we rejoice to proclaim the blessed ever Virgin Mary, Mother of your Son and Mother of the Church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May God, the source and origin of all blessing, grant you grace, pour out this blessing in abundance, and keep you safe from harm throughout the year. Amen. May He give you integrity in the faith, endurance in hope, and perseverance in charity, with holy patience to the end. May he order your days and your deeds in his peace. Grant your praise in this and in every place and lead you happily to eternal life. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. The mass is ended, go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Jesus. 
Jesus met with rejection. Mary stood by the cross. How can a mother desert her son? She'll also stand by us. Be with us, Mary, along the way. Guide every step we take. Lead us to Jesus, your love.